New overnight, a driver loses control and crashes right into a house. Behind us, you can see the damage from that sudden impact. Rob Sneed joins us live from Warren County with the latest, Rob. Well, John and Holly, a very scary situation for a family who was just trying to rest tonight. I'm here with the homeowner, Mark Dunn. Mark, please tell me, what did you hear when you were inside the home this morning? Well, we, we were asleep at 2.30 this morning, and we were woke, awoken by a large uh, clap we thought might be thunder and the electric uh, going out. And we go, wow, that was bad. We'll break up and check, make sure everything's okay. But we're trying to figure out where's the loud music coming from. It was actually a car that had gone through the window of our downstairs apartment and uh, caused and, quite a bit of damage. And, and tell me, you, you noticed the car and what went through your mind immediately? It, is anyone hurt? Uh, when I got to the vehicle, uh, the juvenile had been in, in the car, had fled. And in my fact, he ran out of his shoes. His car, his shoes are still in the street over here. Authorities tell us no one is hurt. Tell me, how grateful are you that that's the case? Uh, we're very thankful. We know the Lord's in charge. He's taking care of everything. And uh, we'll be all right. Thank you so much, sir, and Thank I wish you, you the best. Thank you so much. You. Um, guys, you can see here behind me, just over my shoulder, police just arrived here, but there is, beyond that police car, is a huge hole inside of this home. Authorities say this happened around 3 this morning. They say they got this call. Right now, uh, authorities uh, did manage to catch that driver uh, not too far away, and police say that they actually had to take that driver to Atrium Medical Center in Middletown. As of right now, no charges is known uh, at the moment in terms of if that driver will face any charges. But of course, we will continue to stay here on the scene and keep you updated on the latest as soon as we get more information. Reporting live in Franklin, Rob Sneed, 2 News Today, working for you.